In this video, I'm going to share the three ways that you can remain consistent with practice. A lot of people, when they commit to something, it's very easy to kind of fall off when other things get in the way. So I'm going to go over the three ways to make sure that you stay consistent with practicing piano. And if you watch until the end, I'm going to share with you a free resource that I have available that will help you execute all three of these things. So the first thing you want to make sure that you want to do, and this is what before anything else, a lot of people tend to have an issue with this is being able to manage your daily schedule in general now this isn't really about necessarily piano specifically but this is really about making sure that you take control over your daily tasks versus your day taking over you <laughs> if that sounds relatable so one of the ways that you want to do is you want to get some kind of planner and you want to, let's say the night before your day starts, whether you have, you know, tasks with kids, with work, things of that nature, you want to be able to spend time the night before. And this only takes about maybe 10 or so minutes to just block out the things that you need to do the next day. And you start with the things that you absolutely have to do. And what you do is you want to block out the times that you want to uh, be able to use to do those tasks. And what you'll find in most cases, especially if you prioritize just the things that absolutely have to be done and versus the things that maybe need to be done. If you don't have the time, that's fine. You just push it to a different day. What you'll find in most cases is that you actually have a lot more time than you realized before. The reason why we feel like we don't have a lot of time in the day is because we actually don't take the time out to block out times for tasks and then it just becomes this big run on day but if you take the time to actually sit down and plan your day out you realize that you may end up freeing up maybe an extra hour or two to be able to spend time doing thing, other things let's say like for practice or for other hobbies or to even just give yourself downtime just doing that one little thing where you're basically planning your day out the night before can make a huge difference that's one of the ways that you can stay consistent with piano even though again it doesn't have much to do with piano specifically but that's the first step to freeing up your time with piano and the reason why i'm bringing it up is because most of my students have an issue with finding time to practice and it really starts with time management than it does really having actual time. Most of us do have time, we just don't manage it. So that's the first thing that you wanna do. The second thing that you want to do is once you free up your time, and you'll know or you have a better idea of what time of the day that you're going to have to be able to practice without any interruptions. And before I continue, I do wanna to bring to your attention that I have a free three step or piano in three steps video that's available in the description box um if you're beginner, if you're new to piano and you need like the first three steps to getting to learn there's a link in the description box for you to sign up for that video and again that particular video is free so back to what i was saying once you find out what times of the day or once you figure out like you know those extra one or two hours of free time you'll notice when in the time of the day you'll be able to use that free time so once you know what that free time is, you wanna be able to dedicate that particular time of the day to practice. So let's say, for example, if you free up your time and you find that that free time happens in the morning, that's the time that you wanna spend practicing. And as I mentioned, well, I didn't mention it in this video, but you'll find me mentioning it a lot in my videos regarding practice is that you only really need about maybe 15, 20 minutes of practice a day. So you figure out what time of the day that's gonna be, whether it's in the morning, or whether it's in the evening, you want to give yourself that particular time, let everyone else in the household household know, this is my time to practice, so on and so forth. And a good thing to do also to help you remember is to set reminders in your phone. So if you have an iPhone like me, there's a reminders tab where you can set a reminder to practice and whatever else you use to give yourself reminders that just will help you remember to practice when that time comes. The third thing that you want to do to help you with consistent time practice is make sure that the time that you set to practice is going to be a quiet time and also make sure that you're in the part of the house, if possible, where you're going to be in a quiet space. So if you are in a room where no one really visits, if you can move your keyboard to that room where it's going to be quiet, and no one's really going to bother you or you're also not bothering others because sometimes pianos tend to be loud if it's too early in the morning you want to interrupt people if you do have an electric keyboard and you don't want to bother other people in the house 
if you don't have headphones, it would be a good idea to go to the music store and ask them to give you or to purchase a set of headphones that you can hook up to your keyboard. Make sure that the keyboard actually has a, um, a headphone port. So if you don't have headphones, you can go to the music store and buy a set of headphones. Just tell them what kind of keyboard that you have and they'll tell you what headphones to get. Most headphones are compatible with most keyboards. So you don't have to worry about that being a mix up. But that means you can hook up your headphones to your keyboard. That way you're able to practice quietly. If you have to practice in the time of the day where people are asleep, you'll be able to do that as well. So what I want to do is I want to bring to your attention, I do have another video that's going to be coming up in the future. Once I put the video up, it's going to be in one of these end screens in this video. We're going to talk about the secrets to getting faster results when you're practicing, meaning not only cutting down your practice time, but actually getting more done and making more progress within that small period of time. So if I have that video already published by the time you see this video, it will be in the end screen either over here or over here. It's going to be one of these videos. You'll see it. So thanks for watching. If you do like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, because I will have future videos. And if you do have questions, feel free to uh, ask them in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.